What's up everybody? Today we're gonna go in. So today's video, in case you haven't guessed it, is about the eight playing cards. As you can see, I managed to get one of these before the Kickstarter finished, and I'm also rocking the merch. And there's a link below to the merch store if you want to go grab your own t-shirt. I'll also put a link below for the Kickstarter, so you can go on there and you can get your very own deck of cards just like these. So as you can see, first things first, we've got the deck here. And it's unopened, so we're going to open it up. So the front, you've got the, the logo here with the eight playing cards. On the side, you've also got the logo, the ape, and the playing cards. Other side is exactly the same. On the bottom, you have this, so it's the AAP logo with the playing cards. It's also got the web address. And on the back, it says, always deliver more than expected. So just gonna start by opening these. So let's take the, the cover off. So there we go, there's the box all opened. It's a nice matte black on there. Gonna open it up. Like I said, on the top, it's got the AAP logo. And on the inside, it's also got the AAP eyes. Opening the deck, you see the, the cards are actually in a film as well. So it's not only the deck that's sealed, also the cards are. You can see here it's got the double ape on the back. So no matter which way you have it, the ape's going to be the same. And obviously we'll look through the cards and see what they are. A little bit about the cards though, they were created by a magician called Ash Marlow. And he's had a lot of input from like-minded friends so he can create the deck. He had over 20 prototypes created just to get the perfect deck for it. These cards are printed by Cartamundi. In each deck there's 56 playing cards. There's a custom ace of spades which we'll look at further on. The core cards have blue and silver tones to them. So it's a bit different from your normal deck of cards. And they're also finished in a linen B9 finish. It's made with a slimline paper is stock and it's also got thin borders all the way around. It has a minimalist and elegant design and it's also got double jokers which are exactly the same so you can do tricks with those. It also comes with a gimmick card and a motto card which we'll look at further on when we unbox them. So where did the idea come from from Ash to use the ape for the playing cards? So the ape generally is associated with evolution and as magicians and carders we're also always evolving so no matter what level we are we want to master our craft and better ourselves so the ape was a perfect example to use for that. So the gimmick card which we'll look at is basically the ace of spades but the ace of spades in the middle has been taken out so you can do various different tricks so you can show the ace of spades and make it magically disappear and also different things like that. And as stated about the core cards they have the blue and silver finish which is also related to a different ape i.e. the silverback gorilla. So that's why they've used that to use a, a new fresh look to the deck of cards but also incorporate the ape and the monkey references in those. So the ape card company was something created by Ash not just to create decks of cards but also to do further things with that. They wanted to support the magic community and they've got a lot of different projects and other things coming up in the future so it'll be good to keep an eye out on those and obviously these deck of cards as well. So with the Kickstarter there's also some additional bonuses which you get from back in the project. One of them which is a bonus is that there are some online tutorials which they'll throw in with every backer and on these tutorials they'll show you how to do the gimmick card and also a lot of slice and impromptu tricks which Ash likes to do. Also, if you're getting a brick of these cards, you'll also get a free tote bag, which has the Ape logo on the front of that too. The delivery date, which I have for this in mind, is November. But obviously with the whole corona thing, that might possibly change, but at the moment that's still stuck with November. At the moment, there is 21 days left to go on the Kickstarter, but at the time of publishing this video, there'll be obviously less. At the moment, the target is £5,400 to raise for it, and at the moment there is 1784 backed. Hopefully when this video is published, there'll be a lot more backers and a lot more funding put into it, so we can reach the target before the 21 days. Now we discussed all the Kickstarter elements, it's time now to take a look at the cards. So like I said, the cards come in a packaging as well, so the deck is covered up in packaging and the cards itself. So straight out of the box, a nice fan there, and also a really nice finish to it. Feel really nice in the hands. So the first card we've got here is the motto card. And the motto card says always deliver more than expected. And also, this is the Ace of Spades, which has the thing missing. So as you can see there, it's disappeared. And I'll just get the other one. There's the other Ace of Spades next to it. So you have the Ace of Spades with the logo on and the Ace of Spades without, so you can do a number of different things. There's a number of different things you can do with it. So obviously, if you're holding the Ace like this, and you see you want to shake it, and it turns into the other Ace. It also comes with two Jokers, which are identical which is perfect for any magic tricks that you want to do where you need two of the same cards 
and you don't want to have multiple decks of the same thing. You can use two jokers, sandwich a card between it or something like that and it's great. So now onto the cards themselves. As you can see here you have the eight ace of spades and all through the deck all of the cards are just your standard black colours. But then when it comes up to the court cards, like your jack there, it has the blue tone into it and it's got the black tone in, just like the silverback gorilla. I think that's a nice touch to it and it just really pops it out with the card rather than just being your normal standard bicycle court cards. Yeah, and there's the king and queen as well, so you've got your jack, queen, king, all with the same blue on the black. And now onto the diamonds, so you can see there all the diamonds are the same red colour. It's a really nice red, it just sort of just pops out from the card, it's really nice and crisp. And again with the court cards on the red, you also have the blue toning on it. So it's a nice red and blue tone, and again it just pops it out of the deck and looks really fantastic, especially not being just a standard bicycle court card. Again, you have the, the clubs with the court cards, just the Jack Queen King, and just pops it out of the card, just looks fantastic. Again, the rest of the deck with the clubs is just the same normal black. And again with the hearts, you have the same red colouring with the the blue popping out, and it just looks great. And there's the rest of the uh, the red heart. Straight out of the box, it feels really flexible and really springy, which they're just perfect to dribble with. So just spring off your hand straight away. You can see there, even just a slow flick across, it's really nice to dribble with. And of course, with the spring, just have to play around, do some swing cuts and things like that. It's just really nice to handle and just feel really nice in the hands. And we'll just try ferro. The intertwine between each other really nice, just feel the good. So you see with the ferro, ferro is really nice. Just dribbles down like that. Again, they just intertwine really, really nice for a fair roll. They also have such a great noise as well when they're doing the fair roll. I'm really impressed with the Carton Mundi stock and the handling of these cards. I've had a few Carton Mundi decks before in the past and I wasn't overly keen on them. I more prefer the USPCC cards, but these are quite nice and handle really good. As a result, I think I'll be having these in the, the daily carry around decks. Might even put in the camera bag so when I'm around places I can have these cards to play with. Because they're just really nice and simple and look quite elegant. Just a nice black with the white logo and the slim white borders around. And obviously the tuck case as well. Just nice and simple. Overall, I think they're a really nice deck. And good luck to Ash on the Kickstarter. Hopefully we'll get it all funded for you and you'll be able to release them and everyone else will be able to enjoy these as much as that I'm going to. I know how, how hard you've been working on designing these and getting them done and all the prototypes and things like that. I've been following along the progress since we start first started talking and it was great just to see how it's all come along. And of course, any way that I was able to help Ash with getting these cards out, getting different things out and doing all that, I was happy to do it. We started doing all of the merch and t-shirts for Ash as well. So any of the t-shirts and merchandise which you can buy in the store, which is your t-shirt, your tote bags, hoodies, all that sort of thing. We actually do them for them as well and we're doing it for another different companies just so we can help other magicians start out and not have these massive orders that they need to buy. We can send individual items to different people so it's easier for them to get their merch out. So without that help it would have been a bit harder to get the merch out and obviously fulfill different things with the Kickstarter. Obviously he's got the web store up now, he's got the free products so whenever you buy a brick on the Kickstarter you get a tote bag free and obviously you can go and buy your t-shirts from the, the store and things like that. Hope you enjoy these look at the ear playing cards and I'll be featuring these more in future videos because I'm going to do some photos for them. So I'll bring you along and see how I set it up, take all the pictures and things like that. And I'll also be shucking some B-roll at the end of this. If you haven't already, give the channel subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to be notified when new videos are coming up. Like the video, leave a comment below and until next time, see ya!